Good. So now we'll take a look at the effects of HIV AIDS on families and society. Let's first look at stigmatization. HIV-related stigma isolates families and children. HIV-related stigma and discrimination are important issues for HIV AIDS affected families. Discrimination is directed towards both people living with HIV AIDS and their family members. Sometimes children from HIV AIDS affected families have difficulty understanding why people treat them badly. They feel different from other children leading to avoidance and isolation. Sometimes people ask children from families with HIV AIDS to stay away from their children or transfer their children to a different school because they do not want their children to study together with children from HIV AIDS families. Again, children from HIV AIDS families do not look happy when they come back from school because they feel that they are different from other kids. They stay at home all day long because they are afraid of being discriminated against. The psychosocial stress can lead to delinquency and depression. Two, poor economic conditions. Many HIV affected families do not have a stable income and often they have no family members who can work to support the family. Most of these families have a much lower standard of living than households not affected by HIV. This is because the parents' health deteriorates and therefore cannot work and the little money earned are spent on drugs which are expensive. Three, poor education and school performance. Many HIV AIDS affected children cannot continue to go to school because their families cannot afford school fees. Their families may need them at home or work to support their family's income. For those children who can attend school, their family's situation makes it difficult for them to perform well. Four, children's health and nutrition are compromised. Most HIV AIDS affected children do not have enough nutritious food and suffer from malnutrition. Their health and nutrition are often ignored. This is because their parents have to save money for treatment and so they have no money left to buy food for the children. Interesting, isn't it?